Welcome to Multiple Choice Question 7 of the 2009 Mathematical Methods Exam 2. In this video we will be looking at the solution for this question. A reminder that this video is in no way endorsed by VCAR. Now before we get started on this question I'd just like to point out that the use of a CAS calculator is the most efficient way to answer this question. The question is of course solvable by hand, however that would take up precious time in a technology active examination. So for question seven, we have for y equals e to the power of two x times cos of three x, the rate of change of y with respect to x when x equals zero is. And when we're asked about just the rate of change of something, it's asking for the instantaneous rate. So when we have y equals e to the power of two x times cos of three x, what we want to do is find the derivative to y dx, and then we want to evaluate that when x is equal to zero. On the CAS calculator, go into the main menu. Next, what we need to do is put in the equation that we're given. So that is e to the power of 2x, and then just make sure you're no longer in the power when you write out multiplied by cos of 3x. And now we wanted to calculate the derivative, so we can go interactive calculation diff to do that. And in particular, we wanted to calculate it when x is zero. So we want to calculate a derivative at a value so we can tap this bubble. And the value that we want to differentiate it at is going to be zero. So hitting OK, and we find that that is equal to two. And from the CAS calculator, we found that the derivative dy dx when x is equal to zero is simply equal to two. So that makes option B the correct answer for this question. And finally, from the examination report, we can see that 84% of students got this question correct. So it was very well answered for a question like this.